Arizona men's and women's basketball hosting a double header to open the regular season tomorrow at McHale. The women have high hopes following last season's remarkable run to the national championship game. The tradition of banging the drum for every win led to a lot of loud celebrations at McHale. The Arizona women proving they were made for it, going 15 and 4 while finishing second in the Pac-12. Ari McDonald was named Pac-12 Player of the Year and Co-Defensive Player of the Year. After a semifinal loss in the Pac-12 tournament, the Wildcats were a number three seed in the NCAA tournament. Arizona dispatched Stony Brook and BYU, advancing to the Sweet 16 for the first time since 1998. I was concerned about how we we're going to come out. Like, are we going to be too nervous? It's our first time in the tournament. This is uncharted territory, but we handled it like champs. I thought we came out just with the intensity that I expected and I wanted to see. The Wildcats then dominated a strong Texas A&M team thanks to a 31-point effort from McDonald. Arizona's first Elite Eight appearance ended with 33 from Erie and a 13-point victory over Indiana. Up next, the Final Four and Mighty Yukon. The Wildcats' historic run continued with a 10-point win over the Huskies. Arizona landed in the title game against conference rival and perennial power Stanford. Despite a poor shooting night, the Cats still had a chance to win at the buzzer, but Erie McDonald's desperation shot was off the mark. The Wildcats lose a heartbreaker, 54-53, to Stanford in the national championship game. I'll remember most is this ride. I mean, we had a great run in NCAA tournament. Um, we accomplished a lot that many didn't think we could do. And, um, you know, it was tough, but um, I'm very proud of my teammates. Ten days later, Ari McDonald was taken third overall in the WNBA draft by the Atlanta Dream. But for Arizona, it was a season for the ages. Adia Barnes and the Wildcats had arrived on the national stage. And much more on the women's and men's teams in our season preview in the zone, streaming right now on all of our platforms.